Hi everyone! Long time no see. I thought I would start vlogging my day today because I'm, I am filming. I actually have to go pick up some ingredients for today and tomorrow. And I had to go pick up some pork or the sweet and sour pork. Um, I could, I mean, I'm using that in my mukbang today, but that's not gonna be like the only thing I'm doing. But, anyways. Yeah, I'm going to uh, Jewel Osco to pick up some ingredients and then I'm going to get going to this Korean Chinese restaurant to get the pork, the fried pork, sweet and sour pork. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I just ordered the sweet and sour pork and hmm, guess what just happened? So there are I, I think I told you guys in my main channel that uh, there, you know, the one of my favorite chefs, like Pek Jong Hwan, Mr. Pek, whatever. He um, opened a restaurant in Chicago. He's a Chinese Korean Chinese restaurant, and I said uh, many people. It was like a big hype. There was a big hype on it because you know he's famous and everyone was excited but i feel like you know i told you guys uh, his restaurant didn't meet the standards so a lot of people don't really go there anymore but so so there's this another chinese place in front of the that same place uh, but that restaurant has been there for a little longer um but a lot of people go there because they're a little bit more pricey but they give you a lot more than Mr. Pig's so I think people go there a lot but the bad thing about it is the service is horrible um and like the lady I like I you know I've seen the lady who worked there before uh, who owns that place but she has a horrible attitude and I understand you know like I when I went there I was like oh maybe she's really busy maybe they're short-handed and maybe she's just having a rough day so I was like whatever but every single time I go there she's in bad mood so I'm like okay maybe this lady just doesn't like good services or something so but I still go there we're like okay well, I'm not just I'm not gonna interact with her I'm just gonna order and eat whatever and just get the heck out but so I was like okay so let me just order my sweet and sour pork there and I called her and you know sweet and sour pork you can make it with beef or pork and pork is usually cheaper so that's what I was gonna go with so I asked, I asked her hey do you guys have pork um, do you guys have pork sweet and sour do you guys have sweet and sour pork not the beef and she's like oh we don't carry that I'm like okay um, so you guys only have beef so I'll just order beef and she's like and then she's like okay and she just hung up I'm like okay you didn't even tell me the price you didn't tell me how long it's gonna take and I was kind of, I thought about it, I'm like kind of pissed because the reason why I didn't order from Mr. Pigs is because their sweet and sour pork is so much better. It tastes so much better, but I didn't order from there because the portions are a little small, you know, so I was like, okay. And then I keep thinking about it, I'm like, man, what is up with this lady's attitude? And I saw a couple of reviews on Yelp, you know, I read Yelp a lot and, you know, many people have issues with her attitude because she's actually Chinese, but she's very good at Korean, so a lot of people are like, oh, Oh, you're so good at Korean like you could pass as a Korean person and she like straight up tells him like no I, this is some, I don't want to hear that I don't want to hear that from you that's like the last thing I want to hear I hate hearing that you know it's just like okay I understand if you hear it that much but you know you don't have to give that much attitude to your customer so you know like I guess there are a lot of complaints about her being kind of rude um, to people whatever that's her problem but you know the fact that like I'm just ordering I didn't do anything to you and she's giving me attitude, it made me kind of mad so I'm like, you know, I called her back, I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna cancel the order and she just hung up, I'm like, oh my god, this biatch you know, whatever, she's older than me, but I shouldn't be calling her that but you know, as a customer's perspective, it really does irritate me a lot because you're, this is, you know, that's why you, okay, you own a restaurant like, see, part of owning a restaurant is not just about cooking and serving food, it's about customer service Mr. Pigs because they're literally like across the street. And I called them and can I like I was like how much is it? They're like oh it's ten dollars something something. I'm like okay can I order for a pickup? They're like oh how long do you think it's gonna take you to get here? I'm like oh I think like 15 20 minutes. And they're like okay well we'll put the order in just so that like it'll be ready when you're here. I'm like oh my god that's so nice of you just the fact that you offer. I didn't even expect that you know even that little bit of difference you know really really brings the customer back to their own their restaurant. So I'm like, okay, you know, I'm glad I'm ordering. I'd rather eat a little less and have a better customer service than like a shitty 
you know, experience as someone. I don't know. Just that's one thing that I experienced as a rest, um, server um, ever since I um, started working at a sushi restaurant is, is that people come back for you. I mean, yeah, unless like if even if your food is amazing, maybe they'll come back, but not as often. Hi, Amy. <laughs> Can't step on it. That's cheating. I mean, look. <laughs> to exercise. my origami this is seven by seven centimeters and there are a thousand pieces which um i needed i need exactly a thousand i wish they had more because what if i i lose one or i mess up one or my dog eats one <laughs> you know but uh i think i'll just actually start folding them right now Look how much I finished. Not much. Not much at all. I will end the vlog here today. I'm just gonna go work out. Uh, I'm gonna edit this vlog probably. And that's it. And I'll thanks for watching guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.